Conflict is a normal and healthy part of life and in many circumstances can lead to extraordinary achievements. At other times, when we view conflict through the narrowest of viewpoints, the win-lose scenario, conflict can be quite destructive. Sometimes, and it happens to all of us, we get so focused on details that it prevents us from seeing the larger picture. As a result, we're left spinning our wheels instead of moving forward. When that happens, a push from an experienced, professionally trained mediator can help you get back on track. I'm Heather McFarlane, and I'm here to do just that. I was born in Baton Rouge to a teacher and an engineer. I was the only girl with three brothers and later three stepbrothers, and all of them have very different personalities. Living with them taught me to see and interpret different perspectives and made me comfortable with conflict. My mother, in helping her children navigate life, would tell us, you always have options. And she required us to brainstorm before making decisions. I have found this process useful whenever I am faced with conflict, both personally and professionally. For most of my childhood, I lived outside of Atlanta, Georgia. Then in high school, my mother, an elementary school teacher, got a job teaching military dependents overseas, and I finished high school on a Marine base in Okinawa, Japan. When I graduated from high school at 17, I moved 8,000 miles away from my family to go to the College of William & Mary in Williamsburg, Virginia. In 1994, I graduated with a Bachelor of Arts in English and my eye on law school. While touring law schools, I felt immediately at home at the University of Texas School of Law in Austin, and I knew it was the place for me. I owe so much to the faculty and fellow students at UT. They prepared me to think like a lawyer, but law school only gets you started. There was so much more to learn. Fortunately, before graduation, one of the largest law firms in Texas offered me a job as a trial lawyer in its Houston office. The firm's culture focused on training and trial experience. And by my fourth year of practice, I had already put in over 10,000 hours of work representing corporations in their commercial matters. Over the next decade, I noticed that I never once heard a client say, Heather, I loved going to court. It was the best thing I've ever done. In fact, quite the opposite. I witnessed my clients under extreme stress and uncertainty. Equally disappointing was the realization of how constrained courts are in providing solutions to problems. For the most part, they can only make one party pay money to the other. Especially in business matters, forcing someone to pay didn't even start to address my clients' problems. I also noticed that when clients were forced to accept the decision of someone else, they were more likely to head right back into conflict. What makes me different from my colleagues is my view that the legal system is only one way to solve a problem, but not the only way. I directly engage the other lawyers in a case, in person when I can, to explore options for resolution. This practice made me think that my highest and best use was that of a holistic problem solver and not an advocate for just one party. So in 2010, I opened my own firm to pursue a career as a mediator. I had participated in mediation as an advocate and thought I could seamlessly transition into mediating. Guess what I learned? Being an advocate is very different than serving as a neutral. I had to erase the idea of winning and losing. I also needed to do more listening and a lot less talking. Since then, I've had the honor to mediate hundreds of cases, and I'm always working on my training. In 2019, I attended advanced dispute resolution training at Harvard that pushed my skills to a new level. I continue to practice law for clients, but my focus remains on thoroughly listening to people, diagnosing the needs of all parties underlying a dispute reminding people that they always have options, and helping them brainstorm their way to resolution. I know that if my mother were still alive, she'd be proud to see me using my skills this way.
When I'm not mediating, I'm spending time with my husband, daughter, and five furry friends. <laughs> yes, you heard that right. We have two dogs and three cats. I also passionately quilt, craft, and research my family history. These hobbies reinforce creativity, flexibility, and patience. If you find yourself stuck in conflict, mired in details that prevent you from achieving your goals, I can help. 